In this video, we're going to learn about comments in C++. So comments are annotations that we can make to source code to make it easier to understand for other readers of the source code. One type of comment is a single line comment. So we could have here slash slash, and here we would want to explain what's going on in the source code for the benefit of future readers of the source code. So here we're telling the user to enter two numbers. So the comment might explain what's going on in the code here. We could say prompt the user to enter the two numbers. And the idea is that this comment is describing something that's going on in the source code. Now, good comments, generally speaking, don't describe things that are obvious. For the most part, we want our comments to explain things that are less obvious, that are trickier to understand. Now, comments like this don't end up in the executable program that the compiler produces. When we compile our source code, comments like this are stripped away. Now we can also place comments at the end of a statement. So for example, I could have a single line comment here. I could say declare three variables. Now we can also have what are called multi-line comments and multi-line comments allow us to create a comment across multiple lines. So I could say here slash star and then star slash. And this here will enclose a multi-line comment. So I can now have multiple lines in my comment. I could say, accept user input for variable X and variable Y. And this comment now exists across multiple lines. We could create a multi-line comment with multiple single line comments. So I could have something like this, slash slash add together X and Y to produce the sum. So you can do that as well. Now, sometimes comments can be useful to temporarily remove parts of code while we experiment with some new code. So maybe for example, we think that there's a problem with this statement here. We could temporarily comment it out. We could have a comment here that removes this statement as code. It's now a comment. And then we could try something else out. We could try sum is equal to y plus x. And then if we find that this modification doesn't help and we want to go back to the old version, we could then either delete it or comment it out and then uncomment the old code to bring it back as compiled source code that's going to be part of the program again. This is actually a common informal technique used by developers to help them solve problems. So this is how we can use comments in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.